Hey guys, what's up? It's Shinoki here. Uh, the new map just got released for Fish and Planet, and it is so dope. Uh, this is White News Lake in Alberta, Canada, and it is such a freaking dope map. You can catch so many cool fish here: the furry trout, the Atlantic salmon, the uh, the lake trout, which is oh, such a big fish. Um, I've already fished quite a few days here, and you can actually see right here. I already caught a unique. Uh, I caught a unique furry trout, 12 pounds, at 288 XP. They're not a lot of money. The Atlantic salmon are pretty much where it's at for the money and the XP boost at the same time. Um, and, I mean, it's not hard to catch these fish. So we'll go in and I'll show you White Moose Lake and how to catch stuff here, uh, what I've been using to catch stuff, and it's, it's going really well. If you haven't been here yet, you need to go here. Uh, peak time, you can see our peak times right now. I think I've already, yeah, that unique max my uh, my shit out for this day. So we'll go to 5 a.m. next day. Extend. It's 470 XP. I mean, I've been boosting like crazy. I'm actually curious. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I already leveled up once today, and I'm not too far off. I'm only about 2,000 out from leveling up again from 14 to 15. Uh, wow, that was a freaking wicked fish. That unique furry trout was really cool to catch. So it's a sunny day. They really don't start biting until around 11 a.m. on sunny days here. So, I hope you can see that our peak time start around 11 a.m. So, I'll just go ahead and go straight to it. And uh, it's basically a stop and go technique. But um, this, this is the dock. I'll go ahead and show you guys the whole map. You've got little canoes over here, you got this cool cabin. You got this Christmas tree, which I'm not really sure about. I'm not really sure what it's for. A little campfire. This present it says do not open until Christmas. And for some, okay, there we go. And you can see you can walk this whole boardwalk of fish. It's so fucking cool. I can't get over it. Uh, the fish I've caught here, I've caught pike, brook trout. Um, I've caught a trophy yellow perch, Atlantic salmon. Furry trout, which are cool fish, but they're really not worth much. Uh, lake trout, and yeah, I think that's about it. Um, that's all I've caught here, anyways. Over here, I'll set. I'll this is where I'll fish for pike. I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. Uh, I'll grab a casting spoon. Usually, I use the black and red, but I'm out right now, and I don't think I can get more. Well, I'll check real quick. Yeah, I can't get any more uh, black and red casting spoons until I'm home. And as you can see, there's also fireworks that can be shot off here. I'll show you this real quick. Uh, yeah, you can hit F on your keyboard and pull these fireworks out. You just left click, set them down, and people will start catching furry trout. That's when you catch them the most. There's your fancy fireworks. Okay, so rod and reel setup for the day. Uh, I'm using the... Uh, it's a medium light rod, Jester 6.3, Lodex 1500, and... Uh, I think that's six pound braid, I want to say, or four pound braid. It's either six or four pound braid, which you don't need. You can catch them on three pound mono and stuff. But uh, I set it at two speed, two drag, and I'm just going to try and cast a little further left than that, uh, that fallen tree on the right. Just cast it as far as you can. Basically, in between these two fallen trees. This is where I'll catch most of my pike at. There you go, fish already. Ooh, big fish. And all the fish here seem to be really good sized. Uh, you, you can definitely boost really, really hard for XP. And I'll just do a, a straight slow with a casting spoon, and you can you can tear the fish up pretty hard. After I catch this, I'll show you how I catch uh, salmon and trout and stuff. Hopefully, I'll I'll be able to catch. A pike, a trout, and a salmon all on recorded for you guys. And uh, to anybody who stopped in and watched the stream earlier, um, I had quite a few people come in. Uh, that was really cool to you guys, and I appreciate it. And I'm also, uh, I fish a lot and talk to this guy named GT Matt. Uh, he's one of the other Fishing Planet streamers. He's also on the leaderboards for like Biggest Fish Caught. And uh, he's a really cool guy. If you, if you don't know him, he's on, uh, I'll put a link for him in the description. But here we go. What do we got here? This looks like a pike. There you go. 3.6 pound northern pike. So let's see if we can't go catch a salmon now. And you just have so much area you can fish. You can fish all this. 
And you can catch fish doing it too. And it is a little easier, I think, to uh, catch the salmon and trout with the hook and bobber. I think that's a little easier. So I'm going to switch to my hook and bobber and show you how I do it. Now I've got my leader set at max depth. And you can kind of see this little sandy beach right here in this uh, little cove that goes in. That's pretty much what I'll cast straight for. Uh, I'll show you my setup for this on this rod. This is Omni 1410 Aspira MLR 2000, uh, three pound mono, uh, so I don't scare the trout off. Uh, number two hook, small minnows. Yeah, sport bobber. The bobber doesn't matter. And it's important to have a match rod so you can cast a lot further. But you're going to set your leader to max depth. Small minnows work good. The spawn sacks, yeah. The spawn sacks work okay. Um, salmon eggs, I, really, I don't really catch shit on salmon eggs. Um, and shiners and shad and shrimp. That's the big things that you can catch stuff on here. So I'll pretty much just cast it out as far as I can. We'll see if we can't get something here in a minute. We're already getting a bite. Now you will have a lot more um, misses, I guess. You'll have a lot of hits, and then they'll just go away. That seems to happen a pretty good bit. And you'll also snag a lot using the lure. Uh, if you bottom fish like I do, you'll snag a lot. You see, this fish will probably go away, maybe. I hope he doesn't. Yeah, see, he'll just go away. The only way i found to really kind of get him interested is to just reel a little bit and stop and back reel to take all the... Um, the tautness out of the line. We don't guess. It takes a lot longer in barber fishing. We'll see if we can't get something here in a second. And if we don't, I'll switch to a lure and show you how to catch them on the lure. Reel a little bit and then back reel. Hmm, might not get anything here. It does take a while. These are some pretty uh, slow moving fish, especially when you can look at the temperature. It's 23 degrees. The fish went pretty slow in the water. This map is incredible. This is the best map I've been on so far. Um, Oregon's pretty good, and I really love North Carolina, but this map right now is taking the cake for me. Now we'll reel it about 10 feet and then stop. Back reel. It's usually pretty immediate too if you are going to get one. Um, they don't really mess around with it a whole lot. They'll mess around with it a little bit and then take it under. I usually wait about 10 seconds and then reel it in a little bit. I don't want to waste a whole lot of you guys' time, so I'm just going to reel it in a little bit more. What are you doing, boys? Yeah. I'll just show you guys how I catch them on lures. I catch them a lot more often on lures, but it's a lot easier to catch them with, uh, with this. Okay, we'll go back to our lure. I'm not going to use the casting spin for these guys. I'm going to switch over. Uh, one, of the, Any of the spinners work. Uh, this one works really well. This one works really well. This one works really well. They all work really well. If you want to catch bigger fish, then you can use the half ounce spinners. But they all work generally the same in effectiveness, I guess. So we're going to throw it out. This lake is really deep. So whenever you get it out there, you're going to back reel until it hits the bottom. More to the round, like 150 feet. Yeah, right there. Just gonna get all the slack out just real fast until you see your lure move. And I'm already getting a bite. So I'll use it at three speed and two drag. And just do three rod reels. Wait. Ah, we're snagged. Let's see if we can get that snag out. There we go. You're gonna snag a lot. Be prepared for that. Oh, there was a bite. 
nothing there. You get a lot of bites too. If you get a bunch of bites and you don't end up getting the fish, don't be discouraged. You'll eventually get to where you start catching them a lot. So you give it three to four rod reels, and then a good pause. Three to four. And whenever they do take it, it is extremely violent. They take that shit and run with it. This little sandy cove over here, I've kind of got a range of uh, where I'll cast. And I'll show it to you whenever I get this, uh, this up. After about 50 feet, I've never had anything really come in, so I'll just kind of reel up. So, up. Oh. I'll go ahead and screw that up so I can show you guys this. From about here, at this little point, all the way over to here, that's where I'll generally cast at. And if you can cast far, that's even better. So we'll cast a little bit more to the left this time. Just back rear when it hits the water. If you can cast around 170 feet, you're really doing well. You'll be able to catch a lot of fish. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just wait for that lure to start moving. There we go. One, two, three, four. Snag. You'll snag a lot, I'm telling you. Don't let the snags discourage you either. You can still catch fish. Even if you do get them all the time. God, this fireworks are distracting. <laughs> it's a lot harder to catch these uh, trout and salmon than it is to catch the pike. The pike's just a straight, slow pull, and you'll catch them. I think I can get a little bit more distance out of my uh, other rod and reel, so we'll try that real quick and just see if it works. Is it this one or this one? I think it's this one. Yeah. We'll throw some two pound. Yeah, we'll use two pound. It's going to be hard to bring the fish in on two pound test, though. I'll go ahead and tell you that, especially if they're as big as usual. Oh my god. It's very difficult. We'll switch over to the spinner and see what we can get with that. See how much further out we can go. So yeah, we got about 200 feet out of that cast. And if you are casting that far, just make sure you have a lot of line on your rod. Because they will pull it out. And oh boy, will they pull it out. As you can see, I'm at 240. My bait just hit the bottom. 245. So you can cast so far. Lower moves, there we go. I'm getting a bite. For some reason it's not bobbing. There we go. Yeah, this map's still kind of buggy, so you gotta watch out for it. So you gotta drop that down to the bottom. There we go. Probably caught on some rocks. 
with this uh with this lure setup and this rod and reel setup I have to Ah, that's why I don't ever use that rod and reel setup. I never catch anything good off of it. So, back to short cast. <laughs> back reel till it hits bottom. This is probably the worst day I've had so far on this game. Or on this map, anyways. We will catch something soon. There we go, fish on. This is probably a furry trout from the way it's fighting. Ooh, I don't know. This is why I used the braided line right here, because these are big fish, man. This fish isn't going to be huge, but hopefully it's a little six pound Atlantic salmon. Uh, those are my favorite ones to catch. Yeah, this is a good fish. Oh, boy. You will spend a lot of time fighting fish on this map. And the peak times are very, very critical to you catching good fish. Unless this is a uni or a trophy furry trout, it should be a salmon or a, a lake trout. Let's see what gets closer. I don't think it's a furry. It's more like a lake trout. There you go, lake trout. 8.7 pounds. These are the fish you catch all the time. Just to look at it, this is how much your XP can get boosted from this stuff, man. It's crazy. Lake trout, 133 XP. So let's see if we can cast a little further to the left and grab something else. With me, it's been more... Uh, Towards the left, I'll get more salmon, and towards the right, I'll get more uh, trout. So I'm already getting a bite right now. We get bites uh, dropping it down. I've actually caught fish, waiting for the lure to drop to the bottom. Already snagged. See? There we go. One of the interesting facts: whenever those fireworks go off, you're more likely to catch a uh, furry trout. Which is why I hate when the fireworks go off. Because unless it gives me a uni or a trophy, it's not worth it. There's a lot of rocks here, so I think it gets stuck on the rocks sometimes. There it goes. It's very weird to work a bait here. And that's fish on. I don't know how that happened. I really don't. You'll catch fish in really weird ways here, man. God, that's a big fish. You see him bending that rod over like crazy. I hope it's not, if I catch a trophy or a uni while I'm recording, I'll be very happy with that. It's 
especially so you guys can see it. That's something cool to see. You can have some, there's also it, it bugs pretty hard. I think that's a furry. I'm pretty sure it's a furry trout. That would be pretty cool for you guys to see. But there's a bug where you can see the fish really clearly when they're swimming under the water. It's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure this is a furry trout. And uh, it's white, so I think it's a uni. It might be a uni trophy trout. Or a furry trout, which is really, really cool. That's a big furry trout. Holy shit. There, bud. See how clearly you can see him? It's crazy. And somebody else just caught a unique furry trout. So. That's what I was talking about with the fireworks. Uh, all the furry trout I've caught, whether it be turkey or the unique one, was right after people shot fireworks off. Yeah, he is just being a bear. Come here, bud. Let's see if I can get one straight up. Oh, yeah, get a little bit. Ah, come here. At last, like 30 or 40 feet is the hardest part of reeling these fish in. Definitely a furry trout. I think it's unique. Ah, come here, bud. He is fighting to the death. Actually, the other unique I caught was actually on stream, which is really cool. Uh, if anybody was around to watch it, I don't get a whole lot of viewers on Twitch. I can just get this motherfucker up. He's just fighting me so hard on this last little bit. Hopefully we'll wear him out here in just a second. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. This is probably the longest fight I've had with a fish. Oh, here we go. Got him up. Where is he? Ooh. Ooh. He's not quite as big as the last one. There's a unique furry trout. Oh, that's awesome. They added a new feature where you can look your fish up and down, too. I'll actually bring him over here and get another picture of the Christmas tree with him. awesome there you go guys that's another uh, unique furry trout that's so sick can't believe I caught another one well guys it's uh, it's been Shinigi I'm sorry I couldn't get any trout or salmon in there for you other than the unique furry which I thought was awesome but uh, this technique works for all of them just all the spinners work really well and a couple of the medium spoons will give you uh, results too but um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll be glad to answer them uh, and Leave a comment if you have an idea on how I can make videos better uh, or what you want to see in them. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. Later.